Hello everyone, welcome back to American Truck Simulator. Now we're going to be doing a mod review of the, of the 1992 Peterbilt 379 mod. Been using it for uh, for a little bit on different videos and stuff like that. I want to check it out today. I'm going to give you my opinion about the mod. And show you what everything you can get with this truck. Cab options and everything. It's alright. So we got some root beets. Some beet, beet roots, I'm sorry. Got about a hundred and... Oh, and I hit the wrong button already. Good way to start the thing. 154 miles. Let's see all right. We close that up. Truck's a little loud. I might have to check the sound. Using the uh, SCS's uh, DLC, the Road King DLC, um, grain trailer. All right, truck, you need to back up. I could not match the same color red. Though. I tried to match it to be the same color red. But I wanted it to be red. But I could not match that same color for the trailer. For the truck, as it was for the trailer. Go straight up. That's right. Hope you guys are doing well. I'll go ahead and get a thumbnail real quick. We may have to adjust the seat a little bit in this truck. Okay. Let's raise it up a little bit. We'll do it from this side. Try to get the whole thing in. Maybe it's a little bit loud. Let me check the audio real quick just to make sure that we're not too loud for you guys. I don't want it to be too loud for you guys. So uh, we'll break down just a little bit more. We've got 154 miles, we've got 134 to go.
Just gotta be quiet, gotta let you listen to that Cummins. Two miles to go. So, what do you guys think about Frosty's Winter Weather Mod? I think we may remove it though. You know what? The, I, we got. I keep forgetting that they that they moved up. We're gonna have to adjust the seat a little bit. They they moved this. I'd like to seat up a little bit. We can see a little bit better. A little bit more, I think. Yeah, I think that'll work. Yeah, that's a little better, I believe. So, John Ritter has updated his, uh, Freelander uh, Cascadia. He has an older model Freelander Cascadia. He has updated that. I have not seen no updates any of his other trucks yet. Uh, none of the free ones. But the Cascadia has been updated. Like the fog is moving in on us. Yeah, we got some a lot of fog. We have forty one miles to go. <coughs> Sorry, I couldn't hit my headset button at the time. I, try, I normally try to turn off my mic when I do that.
just about there. We got about 15 miles. So, got a little short run, but that's what we wanted. If I hadn't went that way, I'd hit him, hit him in the rear and pushed him through the light. See if we can get this trailer in there.
I straightened it up a little bit. So we drove exit. We drove 155 miles. Took us four hours and three minutes to get here. We consumed 21.3 gallons of fuel. All right. So we're gonna look at the um, customization option for this truck. Um, let me see. Can we pull it up? Yeah. All right. We're gonna go ahead like this. All right. So this is the truck. Uh, the 1992 Peterbilt 379. So when it starts off, you have one cab option. There's no day cab. This is what it looks like when it starts off. You go into your uh, your uh, chassis. There's one, a six by four. It's all the chassis you have. All right, so engines. There's a lot of engines, and I am using uh, engine mods. So some of the engine mods does work on this truck. Um, you're running engines. Let's see. There's one for like a thousand horsepower, thousand fourteen horsepower. So I'm going to say from a thousand horsepower. Yeah, probably up to about 380 horsepower. But you have some, you have, uh, this is a, these are Detroit Diesel Series, 60 Series here. That's a 380, 425, 450. As a Cummins NT, NTC Big Cam engine. 315 horsepower, 400, 0.75. This is another Cummins L10 series. Uh, so there's a lot of engines that, are, that support, a lot of mods support this truck. Um, these are all, that's a 300, 280, 270, 260. That's the Detroit Diesel Series, uh, 60 Series, 15, 12, 7 liter. Uh, you got a cat, there's a bunch of cat engines. You got a cat 346B, 325, 454, 500, 526. I mean, I'm sorry, 525, uh, 725. You have another short diesel engine. It's a, it's a 545. And that's a cat engine, a 340 with a, a 310. Alright, so that's going to be a little bit smaller engine. There's another Detroit Diesel 330 series. Alright, that's the Z, uh, Z Mods engines. This actually works for this truck, so that's pretty good. Um, you know, coming in 14, in 14, 50, 455, 415, 600 horse, 525, 525, there's another cat engine. A 348, 400 horsepower. Uh, another uh, Detroit diesel, 350 horsepower. A 350 series. All right, that's another. Um, that's a cat engine. A 348, 400 horsepower air start engine. All right, there's a cat engine. A cat 346B. 360. Right, another cat engine, a cat C12 335, Detroit Diesel Series uh, 355. There's another cat engine, a cat 346B 430. I'm sorry, 425. Another cat engine, uh, a 348 450. Then you have the Cummins IXX motors. Uh, that's actually a Cummins IXM 370. Um, 470, 500, 525, 550, 600, 625, 725. You have another cat engine, a 340, 454, I'm sorry, 450, air start. All right, that's another cat engine, a 346B, 525 tuned engine, a cat engine, a C12, 308 horse. I'm 380 horsepower. I can't talk today for some reason. All right, a, a Detroit diesel, 375. 
All right, there's another uh, Cummins. A Cummins in 14, 435. The uh, Detroit, it's a 400 horsepower cat engine C12. With a 410, as it comes in 14, 310. And then as a Cat C15, 435. As another comes in 14, 330. As a Cat C15, 435 there. And then another comes in 14, 350. Then you have a Cat C15, 735 heavy haul engine. Heavy haul engine has the, like your pound the torque here. So it has 735 horsepower, and then it has um, 3,000 pounds of torque, and RPMs anywhere from 12,000 to 13,080. 13, actually, that's 1,200 and 1,380, so that's what that is, actually. Alright, so then next you have a Cat C12 430. And then another Cummins N14 460. A Cummins N14 500. And you have a bunch of cat engines here. They're not. They're not. We're not gonna do these because they're not showing up. So we're not gonna worry about them. Uh, I've got another cat. I got another cat C15 engine. A 6Z. A 6NZ 430 475. Right, so then we then you have the Cummins 444 series work so the, now the 444 is a good engine so that would be a good engine for that you have the 500 the 625 the five, the four the I can't talk today for some reason the 735 the 520 440 five that's another cat 380 B 500 horsepower another Detroit diesel 425 another comes in 14 plus all right that's another uh, detroit i mean i'm sorry i, I can't talk today for some reason another cat 380 yeah 348 500 horsepower another detroit diesel 380 in horsepower as a Detroit Diesel 555, I'm sorry, 455 horsepower, a Cat C, a Cat C12, 472, 475 horsepower. I'm not really sure about this engine. It doesn't say what the name of it is. It just says a V8. So I'm not sure what it is, but it does have 430 horsepower. Yeah, more, yeah, more Cummins. You have the Cummins M11 right here. It comes with the mod for that. Uh, the Detroit Diesel from 605 horsepower is what I see there. All the way down to 425. You have another Cat 346E 475. As, as it comes in 14 plus 525. And another Cat engine. 348 um, it has 550 and then a, a Detroit diesel series 490 another Detroit diesel series now this Detroit diesel here the 490 this is a VT a VGT model, model engine all right, this one here is a 490, and it's just a Detroit Diesel 490. So, all right, then you have the Cat 346E 550, which is the engine that comes in the truck when you first go to the dealership. Um, then you have Detroit Diesel engines. Uh, that's a 500, a 515. That's another of the uh, VGT engines. All right, that has a 515 Detroit Diesel. This one is a Cummins N14 plus 600 horsepower. All right, here's another Cummins N14, 435, 475, uh, 525, 600, 725. There's a Cat engine, 430. That's 475 for that. Another Cat. This is a Cat E40. 6E 700 tuned engine, 700. I'm sorry, 700 horsepower. A Cummins signature 600, 600 horsepower. 
All right, as another Cat C15, 500 horsepower. A Cat 346E, 475. Okay, it's the same thing for all this. 475. You have 500, 550, 600, 625, 700, 725. All right, then here's a um, another Detroit Diesel, 600 horsepower. Detroit Diesel. Um, it's a 60 series Detroit Diesel 575 tuned engine. I said, uh, you have another Cummins. Uh, this is a Cummins open pipe V8 right here. Um, that uh, that's definitely a mod. It says 500 horsepower for that. All right, and here you have a Cat 693 T25 with a uh, brakes saber. Okay, so I'm not sure if you have that mod. I'm not going to go through all of them because that's, that is a mod. Go through the ones I think is more a little bit more suitable for the truck. Alright, so here's a uh, Cummins N14 Plus 800 tuned engine. That's another Detroit Diesel 900 tuned engine for the Detroit Diesel. A Cat, as a, as a Cat 346E 435. All right, 475, 346E, 550, 346E, I'm sorry, 500, 346E. And you have 550, you have a 625, 600, 625, 725, and then you have a Cat C15. 600 horsepower, then you have another engine that's a Cat 346E 435. Alright, there's another Cat engine. A, it says a Cat C15 6NZ 500. Alright, another Detroit Diesel 635 for that. Alright, here's another Cat 346E 550. And then you have another Cat engine. 652 engine. All right, so you have you have all the Cummins IXX 15 engines. They they come with the truck. I'm not gonna go over all of them here. All right, that's pretty much has a lot of engine options that you get. A lot of mods work with it. So a lot of the mod engines, mod engine packs is on the workshop. That's where I get off most of my engine packs from. It's gonna work with this truck. All right, so we're going to go in. So I'm going to pick an engine because it's not showing anything with the engine. We're just going to go in here right now. I'm just going to pick an engine so I can show you. I want to go here like that. Let's come as N14. Now it's going to put your tires on the truck. Some modders do this. I don't know why they do this. But some modders do this. All right, so transmission zone has two. has 18 speed and 13 speed. I'm 18 speed person myself. Interior, one. One tier. Uh, now this is what's different about this truck. I'm going to show you here in just a minute. Uh, really good looking tier though. Colors has your basic colors. Um, has your pretty bit red. You have a few extra little colors here. Nothing you know, too you know, extravagant. Alright so as far as options go. For the truck. I want to go here to bumpers. You have a class. You have a lot of bumpers. This is your factory bumper with guides like that. That's actually don't look too bad on the truck. That's another fat. That's a flat factory bumper. That's a brick bumper. A push bar bumper. Curb bar brick. You know, let's go. And then you have a thin. And that's all your bumpers. All right, as far as lights go, you have your original lights like this. That's your 370 lights. You have a single. You do that. That's more like a like a three, 359, something like that headlight. Yeah, see, so yeah, that's, that's a 359 right there. You have the LED 359 lights. You have the classic LED double like that. So that's, that's your headlights for the truck. Mirrors are, are standard, which I like. I think is good. 
You can put a um, emblem right there. You can put a bug shield on the truck like that, a glass bug shield. You can put an air conditioner in the back. Boy, get that man. All right, mirrors stay the same. They don't change. Uh, it has different types of air filters. It has the original. It has air filter with two light, as you see right here. It has it with more lights that you put in front and back, like that. If you don't want to fool, you know, maybe you just you want to check it out. And you don't want to spend all your time because you have to buy any you know, any one of these lights, you know. And all this is some of John Ridley stuff right here. So you have to buy these lights. You know? So if you, if you don't want to fool with it, you know, it's just best to get the one that's um like that. All right, go here. Change the stacks. Something like that, just for now. You put a toolbox right here. Got an air conditioner on that side. That's your um, cables. Uh, now that has the mod conflict. That's why it's that color. It's probably another truck or something that's causing a problem with that. Alright, so as far as go inside go, right, well, well, hold, on, hold on, let me go back out here. Let me go back out here. Alright, so that's pretty much all the options of that. Now I have the real tire mod, so yours won't look like this because I have the real tire mod. It gives me real tire models like that. And then you have, I have a, a bunch of different tire for, um, rim packs too. So, but we just use. Um, We well, see a standard like that, just so you can kind of see. So yeah, there's a ton of different tire options. There's a ton of different tire options, um, rim options is, uh, for the truck. All that is very well to see. All right, your steering wheels. Um, it's using the outlaw pack uh, there. You can actually use that. Um, but you have your regular wooden steering wheels like that. I actually like this one right here. I think this looks good with this truck. Okay. So you, so you go here. All right, as far as your dash goes, you have different options for your glove box. They call it a glove box. You have a chrome glove box. Two. I'm just going to leave it like that. But you have glove box five, six, seven, eight. And then you have an OMG glove, uh, OM, uh, OEM glove box. I can't speak today for some reason. I don't know what's going on. Give me just a minute here. Let's see. Four, you have five, you know, we have different options. You can actually match this, which is what I'm going to do here, just kind of show you. Uh, that would be, let's see. That's pretty much the same right there. All right, you put your, your this is your, for your shifter, old school shifter. Uh, now, these shifters I don't like. I think it's kind of too tall for me. I don't like the. Being tall, I, I like this a little bit better. This is a mobile old school Eaton Fuller shifter right here. This was a new shifter here. This is the old one, and I don't like them. That's your standard shifter. That's even better for me. I like that. The side mirror up there. That's pretty much all the options for the truck. 
nothing really goes on back here. Alright guys, so, as far as I say, yes, uh, it's, it's a truck worth driving. If you, if you want a you know, truck that don't have, you know, don't have a lot of mods on it, you want a 379 model. There's other models out there, you know, John Ruda has one, um, has a lot of mods, uh, a lot of options. Uh, you have three uh, Vipers uh, truck. But if you want one, you know, that's free, you don't want to spend the money on one, and you know, a good little starter truck, this truck, it, it's, it's definitely worth it. Yes, I'm um, hoping to see more updates for it. I'd love to see a little bit more options for it. I don't drive too many modded trucks, so, you know, it, it's, it's not really for me, it's just for you guys. But thank you for watching. Thank you for being subscribed to the channel. And uh, this is another mod review of the Peterbilt 379 truck. This truck has been updated to 1.4.9. So thank you for watching. Thank you for being subscribed to the channel. And we'll see you in the next video.